Guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Voltwinger, and ladies and gents, welcome to LEGO DC Super Villains. Finally, it is a launch date. I want to give a special shout out to WB for sending me an early copy of the game so that I'm able to record a ton of content for you guys so you can expect a ton of footage coming your way, whether it be the main campaign, the hub world, all the characters unlocked, all the little secret Easter eggs, and all the other comparisons that you guys can usually expect from me. So, of course, if you guys are stoked for LEGO DC Super Villains, hit that like button and down in the comment section below, let me know your favorite DC Super Villain. I'm going to go on ahead and plan something quite cool here for LEGO DC Super Villains. So again, take a moment to go on ahead and comment. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It might be important in the future. Don't forget, guys. Also, be subscribed. Have your notifications turned on so that you do not miss out on any part of the LEGO DC Super Villains walkthrough because I, of course, will be uploading it over the course over the next few days so with that in mind we're going to start a brand new game and the only reason why i had a load game is because i had already streamed the game and you guys had watched that so thank you so very much to all of you who tuned in we're going to start as a master villain and ladies and gents enjoy the ride that is lego dc super villains i am super uber duper stoked to check this out and i am hoping that this is going to be an absolute blast of a game and i hope that it will be a fantastic adventure and i will tell you guys that i have already previously played the first level so i guess in that sense um i kind of know what i'm expecting with the first level but outside of that i have not played any of it so i'm really excited to find out what else is awaiting for us and i'm hoping that the story will be just as great as it seemed we have our creepy harley face in the bottom left corner or we will have it in the bottom left corner here we go folks uh-oh that sounds like Joker. Sounds like a certain someone. Yep, sure does. Ah, okay. Divide and conquer, huh? So it looks like Mr. Gordon has arrived at uh, Metropolis, huh? Instead of Gotham. Sure seems like it, doesn't it? Uh, I think you just caused a car accident, Gordon. Commissioner no? Gordon. Officer, I'm expected. Is everything ready? Sure. I mean, um, <clears throat> yes, sir. Thank uh -huh. you, officer. Stay frosty. Stay frosty, indeed. Yes, sir. Mm, frosty. The typical donut joke. Okay, so here's Mr. Gordon. And it seems like they are releasing this special agent, huh? Or a special suspect. Wouldn't ask for the help of someone with your reputation, but since you're the closest thing we have to an expert in these matters, I need to ask you what you make of this. So, here's the interesting thing. Well, that suspect is someone else, but of course, Lego DC Super Villains is really built on the I idea of building admit, your own of villain. So. I'm not going to spend a lot of time building my own villain right now just because, well, I'm going to be doing lots of videos showcasing the customizer and building different characters and so on and so forth. But here's what we will go on ahead and do. We're going to go on ahead and go into the preset characters because the cool thing is that I was able to actually go on ahead and build a custom preset character. In fact, two of them. So we have this one right here, which is awesome looking. And then also in addition to that, I built this character right here as well so here's the other thing i wanted to ask you guys if you guys end up building or sorry if you end up using either one of these characters please 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 down in any uh, social media service that you're going to use there's links down in the description box i should say for my social media so that's instagram and twitter at blitzwinger on both of those tag me because i'd really love to see you guys using the characters that i got to make so thank you guys so so very much for possibly using uh some of these characters and with that all in mind i'm gonna go on ahead and use the one that i had built initially which is this one right here and i am super duper uber stoked to give it a go all right so we have our appearance figured out which is great our abilities on the other hand we do need to adjust here so we have tech uh, or sorry i guess we have acrobat active i think i'm gonna activate tech as well because i think that'll be pretty useful here uh we do we need a weapon? I don't know. Personality health type, I think it's just red. So yeah, we'll keep that as it is. Uh, speed. Probably want to be a speedster because I think that'll be fun. Then let's adjust our lightning bolts to maybe the flash. That could be cool. 
Uh, I really don't... Ooh. Whoa. We could be a robot? Okay, let's do that. That would be a twist. Um, abilities is already done. Basic information will fill out in just a sec. Um, we got the personality side done as well, right? Weapons. Do we want to give our character a weapon? Nah, I think we're just gonna close combat. That's it. So we'll keep it that way. Uh, and then basic information, of course, we need a name. Oh, wow, that's really cool. You can actually change your status. Neutral, hero, villain, or an affiliation that you have. Wow. I didn't even know that that was an option. That's cool. So, of course, our character is going to go on ahead and evolve throughout... Um, whoops. Throughout our playthrough. And that'll be another really cool element of the entire story. So we're ready to rock and roll, folks. Let's do this thing. We've got creepy Harley face in the bottom left corner. You can see some characters I've already got unlocked because that's part of the pre-order exclusive uh, downloadable content pack. So here we go. A suspect was apprehended at a laboratory break-in. The lab belonged to an old colleague of yours, Mr. Luthor, Professor Ivo. Professor Ah. I still fail to see what a break-in has to do with me. The good professor and you were mixed up with the Amazo Project. The Amazo the Project. Stealing powers from superheroes. That's right. The suspect has acquired similar abilities. They have the potential to become a huge threat. Maybe if you cooperate and decide if they're a danger, we could see about knocking a couple of decades off your sentence. Very well. Okay. Yet another superpowered loser in the world. Who designed your costume? Uh, I did. What's wrong with you, dude? That's a cool, co so cool looking costume, no? My uniform? And... Oh wait, there they are. Uh oh. Awkward. <laughs> this is not good. Hello, well, for Gordon, I should say. We're a villain now, so hey, it's a good thing. Let's get out of here. Can you imagine if you could change clothes like that in real life? Just like boom. This is we escape. Come on. Gotcha. You're with Lex Luthor now, the greatest ever criminal mastermind. Are you sure about this? If nothing else, Wouldn't it be the greatest criminal mastermind ever? Come on, Lex. You should be speaking English to the greatest extent. Okay, so we have a level one now underway, folks. Okie dokie, lots and lots of guards, lots and lots of Arkham guards, way, but we're dear, so fast we'll soon be out of that we're going to be able to just punch our way through this. Relax, Mercy. The controls are located on the upper level. Let's find a way to get to them, shall we? We shall. Guys, we are absolutely... Whoa, I guess we have to fight the criminals as well. So the cool thing is, I think because we're fast, we should be able to build things quickly. Seems like we do build things a little bit quicker than usual, at least. Okay, we have times two studs. Come on. The stud multipliers are going to be very, very, very helpful here. So I'm very happy to add all of this to our collection. Wow, we're already at 10,000 studs. That was real quick. Well, we're so fast, we can't even like stay down on the ground when we jump. That's crazy. They, like, have a hover ability. Ooh, who's that? Is that a known villain up there? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, let's move over to this side. We need to clear out some of this other loot. And the main reason why we're smashing and bashing stuff right now is just so that we can go on ahead and earn... Ooh. A little bit of extra studs in the process, you know? That's really the, uh goal behind all this. Okay, so why don't we go on ahead and hit that big red button and see what that does. Ta-da! What could possibly go wrong? We have Striker's prison doors opening up. I think we've got company. Such I think you're right. Let's remind them who they're dealing with. Okay. I think we got a lot of trouble. That's what we've got. Yikes. Okay, so here we are. We're being uh, explained some basic fundamentals here. 
Okay, so that's how you switch characters. I'm aware of that. I don't know why they thought we didn't know that. Ow! Ooh. Okay, we need to make a switch here quickly. Wait, what is that? Do you see comics? Oh, I was confused by that little guy that appeared. Like the hint? Johnny DC appears to show a hint. Okay. Well, thank you, Johnny DC. But I think I'm good. I've played enough Lego games to know what to do. In this circumstance. Whoa, 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 wait. I was... Oh, I was collecting studs still. Look at this combo wombo. Holy, that was crazy. Okay, we're doing quite well right now. So there's something that needs to be built. Let's see. Uh, we have assembled a big giant wheel of some sort. Oh, never mind. It's basically a way up, actually. Dude, Lex is, like, really powerful in this game. I mean, to be fair, he's one of the most important villains in the DC universe, so he should be quite powerful. You know, it'd be odd if he was, like, one of the weakest characters in the game. It's just odd because it's, like, you know, first level and we already have such a strong character available to us. It's a little bit surprising, that's all. Wow, we're also doing exceptionally well on studs. We got about thir almost 38,000 studs already collected. That's kind of insane. Okay. There we go. Oh, some more studs to be had here. Good stuff. I don't know what this is all about. Can we melt anything here? I don't think. Okay. We need to come back in free play mode to unlock hidden extras. So that's what we will do, of course. As you guys know, I will do a 100% completion walkthrough for this game, whether it be LBA or all the other uh, unlockables like the character unlocks and so on and so forth. So you can expect tons and tons of content for the game. So again, I just want to be upfront about that, that you can see or you can expect tons and tons more gameplay, whether it be free play and so on and so forth. Okay, so it looks like we have a bit of a puzzling element next. Where we sort of need to avoid taking damage from those lasers. Then afterwards, I think we could just shut them down by destroying this machine here. Holy moly. That was crazy. That's a lot of studs. Whoa, do you guys see those purple studs up there? Or purple stud? Hmm... I wonder how we're supposed to get up there. Well, I guess in free play it'd be easy because you just pick a character that can fly and get up there. No for of my okay. I'm actually kind of curious to see uh, Mercy Graves' combo. Holy, that was cool. Did you see that? That was a pretty legitimately cool ability there. Okay. So. We need to take that thing. Wait, what? There we go. Now it's Mercy Graves' turn. To use the grapple gun ability. Pull that thing across. And then we can... Whoa! Okay, we got sort of crushed there a little bit. Or a lot. Come on. Hit him with the combo, Wombo. Blitz. Oh, we are popping off. Yeah, these guys... They had no chance. They didn't even have a chance. We're simply too good. Or too bad, I guess, since we're villains. Right? Okay, so here we go. Moving along to the next section. More puzzles await, it looks like. Whoa. And who is that? If it isn't Cheetah and Solomon Grundy. Pipe down, Grundy. With all the noise you're making, you could wake the dead. <laughs> Did you see that? My former criminal colleagues. That was insane. He did so much damage. Whoa, look at Cheetah's combos. There's a cool too. Okay. Okay, so Mercy Graves is definitely keeping things in order as far as the actual plan. I don't know if I can get all the way up there. It doesn't seem like I should be able to. Or I will be able to. 
Will he be able to call in a... Oh, holy. That's a pretty crazy attack there. Okay, first, let's put whatever this is together. And then we'll proceed from there. So that seems like uh, something that requires the abilities of Solomon Grundy. And then a cheetah launch. And now it explains how we were supposed to get up here. I should be able to shimmy across. Okay. Now, let's see. Whoa. That's a pretty cool charge attack. What's her spinner attack? Oh, it's not a spinner attack. She just charges with claws. Whoa. That would look really cool in, like, a Wolverine as well. Maybe. In the future. You know? Maybe if we get another Marvel game. It'd be a cool bit of animation. But I will say this much. It's really quite impressive how much more attention there is on... Things like the animations of each individual characters and like making each character feel unique. Because you can definitely notice like playing as Cheetah versus playing as Mercy Graves versus playing as Lex Luthor versus playing as uh, Solomon Grundy feels very different. Like the visual animation is quite different on each one. They have their own unique fighting styles. And I'm sure that there will be some overlap in the game. Like maybe some Claude characters will look similar or play similar to Cheetah. But either way... I think it's pretty awesome what is available already, you know? Nearby dark areas to reveal hidden objects. Okay. Looks like whatever is in here needs to be smashed and bashed. Which is something that we are surprisingly very good at. After all the LEGO games that I've played, I better be good at <laughs> that component. Because that's the absolute best strategy in a LEGO game. Smash and bash. And you will be surprised just how well... You will fare. Okay, so before we proceed, though, I do want to check all this stuff out to make sure that I'm not missing out on studs and such. Because there's a pretty good amount of them available here. Not that I'm doing a 100% walkthrough right now, so I shouldn't be super concerned with it. I know. But I'd just rather, you know, try to do a decent job right away. Because I know we will need to buy red power bricks and things like that, and that stuff is pretty pricey. So, why not try to whew, do a, a bit of collecting while we're at it. Okay, I probably should have been maneuvering these things first before I... Okay, so that's clear. That's going to be rotated once more. And this has to do another spin. Okay, I think that's that. The entire assembly has been fixed, I think. Okay. Strikers Island has revealed an, a secret elevator of some sort. Wait, 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 wait. Where are y'all going so quickly? Okay. I was worried for a second. I was like, wait, I didn't even look around this part of the map. I don't even know what to expect here. You know, it might be a lot of loot. And in this case, there really is a lot of loot. Look at all these studs we would have just left behind. We gotta get these. Dude, I love that hover ability, honestly. It's so useful. You know what the other thing is that I've noticed already on the game, guys? Or in the game, I should say? And I finally, like, I'm able to pinpoint it. It feels a lot faster than the other LEGO games. Like, it feels like it's a lot more intuitive. Having just recently been replaying um, the LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga, that game, compared to this, is so, so, so very slow. Whereas this game is so intuitive and quick. Everything is happening quickly. The animations are nice and smooth. That it's pretty it. impressive. Let's go. Wait. Are we going further into the prison? I thought the idea of an escape was to get out. Yeah, Here we go. Hey, look, there's a Brainiac Agents, ship there. Little dinosaurs, though. I guess Brainiac ship has been planted there. I wonder if that's a teaser for... Or kind of can... Like, uh, I guess, combines with Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Up ahead in that containment chamber. That's our target. Okie doke. It's time to power up our super villain powers. Or, I guess first we... Whoa. How many studs did that just drop? Seems like a lot. Okay. Here we go, guys. It's time to grab a brand new superpower for our villain. 
Okay. The rookie just absorbed it. How is that possible? Acquire it. Here we go. It's just like Professor Ivo's amazing project. Here we go. See if we can put these new abilities to good use. Let's rock and roll, guys. We have gained a brand new ability. This is the heat beam. So we can go on ahead and customize our ability by going to our customizer. And we can decide where the beam style will be from, or I guess what type of beam it will be first. Um, I sort of think that one looks the coolest. Yeah, I think that's the coolest. Okay, uh, beam origin. So we have left hand, both hands, right hand, eyes, or chest. Hmm. I guess we could go with the chest. Why not? It'd be kind of unique, some different. And I think we'll, we'll go with the green since he has a little insignia that's green on the chest. I think that should work, right? There we go. Okay, so. Are you sure you want to continue the story? Yes. You can continue to customize your character throughout the story, which is awesome, right? So there's our new ability. We already know how it works because we've played lots Even of Lego skills? games, but basically using a heat beam, you can like melt gold Lego it. objects. So, Once it's open, you'll see. so that's the value of uh, that ability. It's quite good and it's going to be very, very, very helpful. Had we had that ability, in fact, a little bit earlier in the level, remember when we saw those uh, gold walls? We would have been able to interact with those, because we obviously would have had the correct abilities. Heat beam. Okay, I guess you need to destroy five of those as a mini kit. I'm actually kind of curious. I might actually go ahead and try to get one... Uh, mini kit in this level just so that we could see what they look like because I'm actually kind of curious as to whether or not they look like regular mini kits Or maybe they've had some sort of redesign for this game, right? So uh, that'll be interesting to find out Okay, I wonder what that requires that almost looks like maybe it'll require something like poison ivy or something So this is a hidden extra here, right? Yeah, or maybe mind control or something because it looks like a keypad doesn't it? Okay, for now... Ow, ow. Grundy. Hit her with a super combo wombo. Ow. Okay. We need to go on ahead and open this up. Yikes. Sure. And then... We climb. Okay. So, having made the climb all the way up here, there's a lever that seems to need to be pulled. And so we shall, well, pull it. Holy moly. So there's something in that cage that Luther is interested in. And we're going to find out what that something is in just a second, I guess. So get ready, folks. Seems like the striker alarm has been going for quite a while now. Sort of surprising that no heroes have responded yet. Whoa, okay, so we know that this requires the Joker. Interesting. Whoa, okay, let me just try to get some studs first. Yikes. Yeah, sort of took an insane amount of damage there. That's not the character I want to try to select. Yes, there we go. We gotta try to select Blitzwinger and then see who melts whom first. Do we melt that thing first or... Holy, look at our combo wombo! Okay, we just pulled off a crazy cool looking combo. Luckily, Blitzwinger wins against the Golden Cannon. Okay, we need to collect some studs here. And then, whoa, whoops, wait, this needs to be reassembled. Ta-da, get the studs. Ooh, since we have the tech ability, I think we can interact with this. Okay, um, that comes down, that goes across. There we go, yay, we got the true villain rank from that. Whoa, we got an insane amount of purple studs. 
That's like 30,000 stats just from that little bit there. Wow. Um, okay, that was highly unexpected. I'm not gonna lie. Did not think we would get that many rewards. It looks like there's a purple stud up there, but I can't get up there because we don't have the ability to fly. Or do like a double high jump. Even though, I guess we kind of do have like a double jump. Because we did pick Acrobat for this character. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Let's pull this down. And so, I think that will release that cage. Here we go, folks. Drum roll, please, right? Dude, I love how there's a little staircase that gets assembled and everything. Whatever's in there is trouble. I'm guessing a campfire is missing an overgrown boy. I love the voice acting in this, by the way. It's so good. I chop the vegetables now. Haha, he's been promoted. I think not, Superman. I believe you've met Metallo. Oh. Unstable for you, perhaps. His kryptonite core doesn't bother me one bit. Now to get off this rock. Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere. You really think you can stop me? <laughs> no, but we can. Oh, huh? Booyah! Booyah! The whole Justice That's League is here, bro. Guys, back off! The screen's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him both when they're just standing back there. He's just like, mm -hmm. stuff is happening. That voice, that Mark Hamill voice is just so good. And then Tara Strong as Harley Quinn. That looks like a mother box. And that looks like the Batman. A.K.A. Kevin Conroy's voice. He's coming through as the Dark Knight. Two with one shot. Not bad. Awkward. Say cheese, me, man. Sounds like you're out of time, Beth. <laughs> okay. So, this is the continuation of the level, guys. So I will say this, by the way, guys. How crazy is it that this is all the first level? Like, I don't know if the other levels are going to be quite this extensive, but the point is, if they are even half as long as this, that's insane. That would probably make these possibly the longest LEGO levels that we have had in any game. And they're so extensive. There's so much stuff going on at all times. Like, it's like, if you just look at it, look how many things are going on in the background and everywhere, for that matter. Not just the background. And by the way, the Joker really did just destroy the, uh... Uh, what is it called? The Batwing, real quick. So, hopefully, uh, Batman's got insurance on that stuff. Okay. So, the cool thing is that Joker actually assembles a Joker goon army. That's, like, one of his abilities. That's pretty awesome. I love that. That's so cool. Again, it's something that we haven't seen in the other games. We have seen the, uh, like, Joker goons and stuff like that used sometimes for, like, sometimes when you need to, like, grapple hook something or something along those lines, but not in this type of way, which is really cool. So, we need to go on ahead and ask them to come on over here and check this out. <laughs> Can you imagine being those guys? He's like, yep, come make a giant trampoline for me. Okay. Woohoo! We have made it. And, oh, Joker, you gotta lose some weight, bro. Yikes. Here we go. Let's transform to Harley. 
So check this out. Harley can rollerblade around. Very cool. Oh, whoops. Looks like the Joker is the one that has the grapple ability. Hmm. Let's pull that out of place. And then transform to Harley. Because I think, yep. It's smash and bash time. And she's got her mallet as like her primary weapon. So again, a different combat system to that of the other characters that we have seen so far. Here we go. You got to make sure that you know where to swing. And swing but a... But a swing. Okay. I thought she was going to break that with the hammer. But I guess I thought incorrectly. I had forgotten, honestly. Ooh, okay, careful. Now it's hammer time. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. It'd be terrifying if elevators in real life worked like that. <laughs> Can you imagine if you had to like hit them like that? That would be crazy. Mercy Graves and Cheetah are fighting Wonder Woman and Cyborg up there. Okay. So we need to reassemble this team. Okay. Wow. You know what I'm wondering, guys? Like, do you think we'll make it to half a million studs on our first level? You think that's possible? Like, we're, we're pretty close. I mean, there's still quite a bit to go, I know. You could make the argument like there's still about 30% that you would need to get. But... Maybe it's possible, I don't know. Okay, here we go. We need all the Joker goons to grapple hook. I love how they're running. Look at that animation. Just pay attention to the little things. Like, the animation on those guys is awesome. And so, it is time to scale up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get that blue stud for sure. Need to give this a nice little pull. And here we go. Hammer time. That was terrific. That's how you make an entrance and exit, I guess. Both. So, we have a pretty insane amount of studs there to be had, which is terrific. I wonder if... Uh, hmm, that did not really work. As I had planned. Whoa. Things seem to be sort of falling apart. Uh-oh. Come on. Rotate this thing round and round. Have to basically wind that clock. And destroy a porta potty. That's not a sentence I thought I'd be saying. Holy moly, did you see that? That's her uh, punch down attack. Or like ground pound attack. Holy, look at that. She just calls it a giant rocket. How crazy is that? Okay, we can't interact with that at this very moment. Because we don't have a, the ability to um, melt gold Lego objects. Well, sorry. We have that on characters like the custom Blitzwinger character we built. But he's not accessible to us now. So we're going to need to come back to that in the free play side of things. Okay. Now that worked very well. Holy. Okay, let's see what Harley's combo is. Oh, it's hammer time. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, here we go. Yikes, yikes. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was going to be a different one this time. That's why I was curious for a second. I wonder what that means. Like, you see how it says multipliers times one times two times two? Like, I'm not really sure how all that plays out. But it certainly is interesting. It's definitely obvious that Harley is the only one that could be up here right now because uh, Joker doesn't have the uh, acrobatic skills to get up here. At least not yet. Okay. That's going to bring us up to 400,000 studs, guys. Okay, it's hammer time. And so I think this 
will allow Mr. J to get up here and get caught up with the rest of the villainous squad. Okay, Joker. Time to shine. <laughs> I love that he's just like got pie always. I don't understand how that's possible, but hey. I guess maybe he's got like some sort of bakery sponsorship that nobody's aware of. Okay, get ready to jump. Hold on to the left. Oh, okay. Or you could do that. And... It's... Okay, careful. Watch out. Yeah, super crazy, huh? You know things are crazy when Harley says things are going crazy. Okay, Harley. Hop on in here. And the giant cackling teeth. Let them get away. And escape. And they're rowdy. I guess she's gonna post us on Instagram. Hashtag no filter. Oh. Awkward. Batman's like, gotcha. Hold it right there, you vile villains of villainy. Uh-oh. Who are you? I am Ultraman. And these are my friends, the Justice Syndicate, Owlman, Superwoman, Grid, Johnny Quick, Power Ring, and hmm. Sea King. You guys seem like a weird ripoff. There's something really familiar about this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it. But it's pretty obvious that they are just a variation on the Justice League. Creepy Harley face in the bottom left corner, new kid on the block. Level complete. Free play unlocked and i love that they're using the daily planet to like surmise everything that's very cool all right so we get a pretty large amount of studs collected right off the bat 407,000 to be exact which is brilliant i'm super duper stoked that we had such a good start right off the bat we did not manage to get any mini kit wow only five of them hmm that's kind of surprising usually there are 10 to collect there's the red power brick so we know that obviously those those are included in the game then we have some sort of a... I don't know what the heck that is. And we get one gold brick for true villain completion. And then one gold brick for level completion. So that is terrific. Let's see what characters we unlocked as a reward. Holy, look at this. This is a lot of characters unlocked right off the bat. So we got Cheetah. Harley Quinn. The Joker. Lex Luthor. Mercy Graves, Solomon Grundy, and there we go. Wow, that's a pretty extensive roster of characters unlocked right off the bat. So this, ladies and gents, wraps up part number one.